Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video we are taking a look at a NASA in the Unity Asset Store called Old Road Signs. So these are going to be useful to people who are building a city, maybe a desolate city, and just looking for some roadside assets for some signs. Let's take a look. So all we get is basically the signs themselves, um, and we do get this in a demo scene. Love the demo scene, always good to see, even in assets that are just basically this. Even if it's not an environment, it's just showing you what you get in the scene. I think it's always good to have them. Quality-wise, I think they are fairly decent. I mean, yes, you've got to remember that sometimes these things are free, sometimes they're paid. You'd expect assets which cost a lot to be high quality, but free? Free can be anywhere, and I think that they look pretty decent for what they are. So quality-wise, yeah, I think they get a pass there. Quantity-wise, we get how many signs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We get 11 signs, and obviously the poll for it as well. That's good. So quantity-wise, I'd say it's pretty decent. You've got a variety of signs. And the good thing is, some of them can be duplicated, like this one, for example. You could change the rotation on that and have the arrow pointing the other way if you wanted to. You could change the rotation on that on these, have them the other way. It's you know it's entirely up to you. So I think it comes down to how you want to portray these signs. Um, so they are versatile in that sense. Um, I think it depends how customizable you want it to be as well. So if we take a look at the road signs itself, we could change, I don't know, um, let's change it to a standard shader and you can see they all change and they become very dilapidated and I think that effect would work even better so you've got an array of different types of signs that you could use providing you know how to use the material correctly you could duplicate that material and make multitude of signs so I would say they are quite versatile in that sense you don't just have to stick with how they look coming straight out of the box See right there? We could do all that. Let's turn these reflection probes and uh, spotlight on and see how they look. Yeah, a little bit different. I think they're quite cool. So remember, when you're dealing with some of these assets, change them as much as you can. You don't necessarily have to stick to the style it gives you. You, you really don't. You could do whatever you want to do with it. So yeah, I do quite like how they are set up. Price is free which is good to see, always good to see a free asset. And file size is 15 meg. And I'd say that's pretty decent for what you get here. So keep in mind that small file sizes work quite well with mobile devices and a lot of people aim for that. So if you are creating for mobile, then yeah, I think this is a pretty decent asset to have for that. And as for the price, remember that I am recording this uh, on the 21st of August, 2020 at this point and it actually came out yesterday so or rather the latest release was yesterday so keep that in mind and yeah if you do see it a couple of dollars and you're not prepared to pay that or anything keep an eye on it it might end up free again so how useful is this asset so as i said earlier if you're creating a city that's a bit dilapidated and you need some signage these are perfect these are going to be great they are a bit limited in terms of, for example, the speed limits. You only have 60. That is a little bit of a shame, but I guess with a bit of work, you could create one in the same style to be whatever speed limit you would want. Folders are nice and neat. Always good to see. Materials in one place, mesh, prefabs, textures. I always like neat folders just because it gives you a sense of keeping everything uniform in your project and things being easier to find. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I don't think I'd recommend this to everyone in the world, but certainly if you're looking to make a city that needs some dilapidated signage, this is brilliant. I think they're really good for creating a bit more of an effect to a dilapidated city in that style of game. And remember, if you're creating a really rundown, destroyed city, you could always change them a little bit to give you that extra bit of oomph in your game, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I think I probably would recommend this to anyone creating that style of game. I think it'd work quite well. So guys, do you have an asset on the asset store yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments. I would love to check it out and maybe review it in one of these little videos. And if you've used this asset, Please let me know what you think of it. I'm always curious to know how people have used these things and 
how good it's doing for them in their game. And yeah, don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything that I've got on game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.